Hello guys, welcome to Farming Simulator 17 and Petite Isle. Um, back for episode 2. Sweet, I love this map. It's I'm falling in love with it, it's so awesome. Except right now when it's raining and stormy. But um, yeah, overall this map is really, really fantastic. I'm very impressed. And uh... I think whoever made this, I don't remember, should be very proud of themselves because it's a beautiful map. And I can't get over there. That's the one thing I don't like is you can't really. But yeah, it's really nice. I like having your own little island to yourself. Um, but still, there it, you get a sense that people live here. And now I'm stuck behind the, <laughs> the barriers. Anyway, so what we have to do today is... Um, oh good, everything's out of the rain. What we have to do today, well, I don't really know. <laughs> let's um, let's find out. Let's just speed walk, slash, insanely fast sprint. Um, here. All right. So, pretty much what we need to do is let these fields grow. So I'm gonna speed up time a little bit. Um, in the meantime, what can we do? We don't really have any money, so we can't buy anything. Um, but, let's see how the pigs are doing. Um, where, did, what am I even doing? <laughs> oh, we actually do have some grain we could sell. We could definitely do that. And, um, alright, so they're pretty much all good, except for the straw, that's right. So if we go in here, where is our tipper? And what kind of tipper do we... Oh yes, that's right. Um, okay, so I guess we will hop in this guy. Or actually, you know what? No, because the vulture is faster. Um, and, oh, by the way, I apologize. Uh, I lost some footage last episode. That was unfortunate. Um, I will try not to do that again, because obviously it's not good. Um, let's connect this guy up, and we will head down this way. We don't really need our beacons yet, but I just like beacons shining off the walls. All right, so. I think, well, let's just take a look at the prices. Is there anything at a very nice... Alright, soybeans, and we have a good amount of those. Alright, so we'll do, um... Start, and let's make sure that's not going down. Okay, um, well, we probably should slow down time either way. Um, to about five times. I think that's good. And where are we even going? Le Port. Doesn't that mean the door in French? It's probably just the port. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there's an E on the end of door in French. I, I'm assuming this is French. I could be totally wrong though. Anyway, <laughs> I will stop uh, fooling around with that and actually get this grain sold. So, yeah, we did just cut across our lawn, but it's, hey, it's our lawn, so we can do whatever we want. And, um, I love how this map has these little, uh, little roads that cut across, and there's not, there's not too many fences. In fact, there's not many fences at all. Um, which is one thing, it actually could use a couple fences, I think. Uh, oh, there's a forest over there. But, you know what? It doesn't need it because they really crafted it really nicely. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I love these little dirt roads. What, what texture is this? I want this for my maps. It's fantastic. So it looks like we're going down there. We almost definitely are. I don't know why we wouldn't be. And it's gonna be. quite a steep descent, but actually not really. But here we are. We didn't really need our... Oh! 
You just witnessed it. Fail. Oh dear. Can it tip back over? If we unhitch it, it definitely can. But... Oh. Um, I'm not sure if I want that car to move or not. So I'm just gonna, uh... Do this. Oh yeah, okay, that did fix it. Alright, well let's... Head over to... Yep, yeah, oops. Huh. <laughs> I am a not a very good driver. Yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna say that right now. I think y'all know it. Oh dear. There are the dogs. Um... I should probably shut the door, because y'all will be hearing that all day long. Oh, that's cool. It goes right into the ship. Um, Alright, let's watch the money. Oh yes. 29,000. That's not too bad, actually. Could be a lot worse. So, er, uh, it, it's not bad at all, actually. I don't know why I'm saying it could be worse, because... Yeah, I, I'm just confusing myself here. Now, why is there train... Why are there train tracks there? They don't really go anywhere. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> but, uh, they got the... All the real companies here, which is really cool. Add some life lifelikeness, I guess you could say, to the map, and oh my goodness, what is the traffic doing? Maybe they heard about my incident and they decided to wait until I left before they <laughs> proceeded. <laughs> they didn't want to get hit like that other poor guy, or gal. Anyway. You know, I actually do like the color of our Voltra here. It seems like whenever you're choosing a color, you're like, oh my goodness, I don't think any of these are going to look good. But then, once you buy it, I mean, pretty much every color looks good on most machines. Some colors do not look good. But, in general, they look pretty good. Okay, so we are back in the yard. And I just want to see if I can't get this little bit of soybean out. Because you can see it says zero, but there's actually a little bit in there. Like, you see that? It sometimes does that. If we do control I, I wonder. No, that doesn't work here. I think you can do that. Um, let's see if that works right here. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to be working. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do is just swing around here. The other way you can fix this is by grabbing some more soybeans if you can get under the trigger oh I am under the trigger okay good and then you can just dump these back into your silo we're not gonna sell these because we don't really need to we have plenty of money right now um, and yep so you just dump this back and it should fix it yay okay alright time to park up now I am going to start the time lapse because this is a 50-50 half time lapse, even though it's mostly me blabbing on, usually. <laughs> um, I'm going to start the time lapse and I'm going to buy some, well, maybe, I don't know, actually, hold on, I'm going to hold out on the time lapse for a second, I know you're all, like, yelling at me and screaming. So that's five, five grand. Um, I mean, ideally, we really need a trailer with that. I guess we could get the um, that big bale fork. We have a weight back at the pig farm. So, and then there's the fact we have to shred the bales, <clears throat> which is a bit of a problem. We could rent. A bale shredder, which actually doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Um, because, to be honest right now, I don't, I'm not taking out another loan. 
Unless we, like, absolutely need to. So we'll lease this guy. It shouldn't cost us too bad. And then we'll go and buy some of this. And then we'll also go into bailing technology by... Or is, no, it's not even in here. It would be front loaders. Did, is there? Yeah. This is a fantastic grab, by the way. And yep, yeah, so uh, time lapse, engage. Yeah, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, straw is not accepted here or there. So where is it accepted? Is it acceptable to have straw anywhere? Yeah, I actually um, dumped some out here. Maybe it's... Oh, I, I bet it's... Well, it might be there. Oh, let's uh, slow down time a little bit, because we don't need it that fast. Oh, I just remembered, um, or more, I totally forgot, that we have another field, field 10, that we should totally plant. I don't know why, I guess I was, oh, dang it. Oh, well, at least it's in our yard. Um... Yes, actually, that's the unload point, so that gives this a good chance. Yes! It worked, and they don't need anything else. Alright, well, we'll just leave that there, and um, we'll get these bales into some kind of pile. Oops. Um, yes, uh, oops, yeah, uh, can't see, when I'm, whenever I'm time-lapsing, I try to move the camera as little as possible, and I always end up going through sheds and then, like, hitting something, because I have the no-collision camera on, which is a lot, I mean, I'd, I much prefer to have that mod going than to not, um, so I'm not getting rid of that, but, just like put it there, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I kind of either that or I'm trying to find a control in the dark or something, I don't know, or um, or just trying to find a control. Sometimes I miss, I hit the wrong button. I do that a lot actually. So that is why I crash so much, kind of. <laughs> or is that just my excuse? It's for you to find out. Anyway, enough excuses here. Oh yes, that actually kind of worked. And I should probably put it in reverse. Um, we will park this up and then we will go get seeding because fall is half over. Or uh, spring. Oh my goodness. Um, get the lights off, lower this down, and turn it off. Alright. 
Um, I'm gonna try and use this method when I don't forget to get two vehicles. Oh, the beacons are still on. That's a little not good. Um, anyway. Get this backed up. Now we're gonna hit that if we go any further. And connected. Alright, let's go. So, I don't know how this is still at 97%. I know the worker was buying stuff for a while, but I turned that off, so... Hmm. Now, I think field 10... Yeah, it's this way. So, um, we can't actually put our beacons on, because we're taking up the entire road. Even though no one's going to drive down here. Um, we should. And it looks cool. I love beacons. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I still wonder how you get to the sheep farm, like, to feed them. Like, because obviously you can, you don't have to bring your sheep there, but... If you do want to feed them and stuff, I mean, there's plenty of water around, but how do you get a tractor over there? Magic? Oh my goodness, I am so dumb. I totally missed the turn. Yui. What is this? Is this a castle? It's a cool old building there. Wow, look at that. Looks like an old mansion or castle or something. pretty sweet. Alright, well, I think, um, since it's gonna take me so long, since I'll probably take ten more long turns, um, I will just go ahead and start the time lapse right now.
Oh dear. We seem to have crashed. Um, that's not good. <laughs> Classic on my channel. So, um, I don't really know... I mean, I could reset it. I actually haven't tried out the reset point. Hopefully it doesn't put us right into the ocean. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is go grab the other tractor. Oops. And actually the front loader tractor would probably be ideal, but this one's way closer, so we'll just use this. Um, but yeah, so that field is seeded. I forgot to change it, so it is just canola now, which, I mean, doesn't really add variety, but canola's fine. It's fine if we have two fields of canola. Um, but yes, <laughs> this is a bit of an issue. Good thing there aren't soft body physics or damage on this game, because that would not be good. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Come on. Yay! Sweet. Alright. <coughs> now we just have to take these back to the yard, and we will be good to go. I'm just going to shortcut across this field here, because I don't really feel like driving. Um, down those roads because our our uh, yard is right there so <laughs> it doesn't seem like that makes any sense anyway um, just merge onto the road casually off the off road and turn in here Put it in here as usual. Oh wow, Vulture's dirty. Better get a pressure washer soon. Um, and we'll turn that off and get this guy home too. Pretty loud engine, like I've said before. But um, yeah. So I have been time-lapsing for quite a while, and I don't really have too much more time, so I think I'm going to wrap the episode up pretty much right here. Um, and now the dogs are getting crazy. <laughs> Perfect timing. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did um, like it, I guess. If you didn't, dislike it. If you hated it, dislike it. You get the idea. Um, and if you really liked it and you think your friend would like it or something or you want to see more on my other maps, then maybe consider subscribing. Check out my channel. And I will see you later.